Partnering with the state, the City of Boston also understands that economic recovery resources will potentially flow through the states, and has been active with the Commonwealth's task forces, established by Governor Patrick and Lieutenant Governor Murray's administration. There have been several meetings with state counterparts to coordinate efforts under the Green Communities Act. In addition, the City of Boston staff has been working to engage every neighborhood and resident in climate change, and to make sure that economic opportunities flow as well. Well, Boston was recently ranked the third greenest city in the United States by Popular Science Magazine. Uh, we've really been focusing on various efforts to green our city, from green building strategies to solar installations to wind power. Uh, we're really putting Boston on the map in the clean tech economy um, and as a growing green city. Uh, Boston was the first city in the nation to incorporate the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED standards into our zoning. This means that all new construction must be built with the state-of-the-art green technologies and uh, the most efficient uh, from energy to water consumption uh, our buildings are growing in a sustainable manner. Boston is moving forward on our green agenda. Today I'm proud to announce the appointment of Boston's Climate Action Leadership Committee. This committee represents the best and the brightest from academia, business, nonprofit, and neighborhood interests. We continue to showcase the best in green technologies, the best in green building, and continue to show that greening our city is not only good for our environment, but it's good for our economy, economic development, job creation, and it's good for the bottom line that going green can save money. Our committee will help develop concrete action to further decrease carbon impact and increase economic opportunities associated with the clean tech sector. I ask the committee to be bold in its thinking. Help us develop the roadmap for an even greener, more sustainable Boston. In the near term, I expect the leadership committee to advise my administration on the formation of Renew Boston, innovative strategy to promote wider scale energy efficiency service delivery in our city. We'll use $6.5 million for the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to implement Renew Boston to create more than 100 green jobs. Renew Boston will also support municipal facility energy savings, targeting the shovel-ready energy efficiency projects identified under the city's Integrated Energy Management Plan and a performance contract for $1.3 million of the top projects on the city's $13 million list of shovel-ready municipal solar electric, solar thermal, and wind energy projects. Boston was one of the first Solar America cities under the U.S. Department of Energy's solar uh, program. Uh, we have, since 2007, had a 300 percent increase in the installed capacity of solar, both on our own municipal facilities, our schools, and other uh, city buildings, uh, but also working with the private sector and the state of Massachusetts under their Commonwealth Solar Program. We've been able to demonstrate that even in a northeast climate like Boston, uh, there's tremendous potential for solar uh, and certainly wind power in Boston. We even have a small demonstration project, a wind turbine on the top of City Hall. Uh, we worked with the IBEW Local 103 to get a turbine built right on the Southeast Expressway. These demonstration projects uh, are not so important for the energy that they produce, uh, but I think more importantly they stand tall as a beacon for what the promise of renewable energy holds for Boston, for Massachusetts, and for the U.S. in moving to a carbon-free economy.